Hi, it's me, Michelle, and I'm going to do a tutorial on how to put a topper on a dish towel. And I already folded it in half, and I cut it in half, and I couldn't find my pins, so I found these little clippy things that I think you use in your hair that I got somewhere. And what I did was, I, I'm going to put it down here so I can show you down here. I folded it over once a little bit. I'm just going to start on one side. I folded it over just about, you know, about almost a finger's uh, width or whatever you want to call it. And then you fold it over again, okay? So it's double folded. And then you're just going to clip, or you can use those little pins, um, sewing pins. And you're going to clip it and try to kind of keep it even all the way across as you're clipping it. Just keep folding it over a little bit and clipping it. Make sure you have it the same, um, the same size all the way across pretty much. You have a little bit of room for error in this because it's going to be, um, you know, you're not really going to be able to tell at the end. If if it's a little bit crooked or something like that, you're not going to be able to tell. So, um, it's probably more professional to use the pins, but you know, I'm just going to use what I have, what I can find for right now, because it's working for me. So, that's what I'm going to do. And so, I wish I had one more, but I'll be alright. Okay. I think I ended up with it a little wider down here, but you know, it's not going to matter in the end. You're not going to be able to tell that because this is going to be all folded over like this at the end. So it's not going to matter on that. But what I did then, I'm going to put the camera up here. And what I did with my, I ended up with about two, one, two and a half lengths of yarn um, and then I cut it so I, and I put my big yarn needle in there and so that's what I'm going to sew it with I'm put it back, back down here and then on the end you know you just tie your little knot I, I tied two square knots right here and just kind of cut it with a little bitty tail on the end and then that's going to keep it from coming through your work. Okay, now. Wow, that did get bigger. Look, it's a little bitty and it got big out here. Oh well, I'll fix it as I go along if I want to. Um, oh, actually, I'm going to turn it over. I'm not going to start on my the back side. I want to start with the front side facing up. I think I'm just going to go ahead and adjust it a little bit. Try to make it a little bit skinnier. Just so it'll... I don't know. I'll just feel better. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over this way. Okay? And then you just find you a piece of yarn that matches whatever you want to... Whatever your towel is. And then I'm going to start over here. And what the, what the pattern said that I was starting with was um, it said to after you cut your towel to hem it well I don't have a working sewing machine so I was thought what am I gonna do so I decided just to hem it with yarn and so I'm kinda going through right here in the little where here where it twists and I'm just gonna go up a little bit like this and I'm gonna hem it at the bottom of my stitch right here so I'm going to be feeling it with my finger as I go across and making sure I'm going right along that bottom. And so I'm going to go up through right here. I'm going to keep pulling and it's a very long piece of yarn so it will take me forever to pull it through there. And I'm going to keep pulling it and then you just have this little tiny tail in there that you got to deal with. So. I don't think you're going to be able to see it when you're done either, really. So if you want to push it in there a little bit, that's fine. Okay. 
Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go, I'm going to go in right here at the end and I'm going to pop it out on the other side like that. I hope you can see it. And then I'm going to pull it through forever because it's so long and keep pulling it. And then we've got this kind of thing right here. We've got that one. And I'm going to just go feeling, always feeling with my finger on the back. I'm going to um, go in right on top of this stitch. And then I'm going to make sure I'm feeling it with my other finger so I'm staying at the bottom of that where I turned it over on the back and then I'm going to pop it out on the other side. And if you put it on top of your other stitch you made in the middle, it's going to um, it's going to make a nice little stitch like that. I think it's like an embroidery stitch. I think I remember when I was little um, I used to embroidery and I think that's how we used to embroidery, but I can't remember exactly. Um, but it makes a cute little hem, you know, across the front of your um, dish towel. And it's pretty because it's the color you've chosen to accent your um, towel. And so what you're going to keep doing is you're going to keep going, making sure you're hitting the bottom of that, making sure you have to be on top of that hem in the back or it's going to come loose. And you just keep going straight across the bottom of that hem, just like this. And you're just going to keep going straight across. And as you go, take out your pins, or your clips, or whatever you decide to use. And then when you get to the other side, then I'm going to meet you there. So go ahead and keep going like this. And I'll be right back.